In this video, we're going to show you how to master one of the most effective trading tools, which is the VWAP. app. Please hit the like button, but more importantly, hit the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. So let's dive right into it. Starting with the VWAP basics. VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price and is different from a traditional moving average as it takes volume into account. So to access the anchored VWAP on your left, under Projection, click Anchored VWAP. Then on your chart, click where you want the VWAP to be applied from and you'll see it overlaid on your chart. The middle line here is the VWAP line. When price is above the VWAP line, it signals a bull market and can also act as a form of support and presents long trade opportunities. If price breaks through the VWAP, it can signal a possible trend change. Let's show this again. Price being above the VWAP line and making higher highs signals a moving uptrend. On the way up, you had multiple entries at the VWAP line. Entry one through the very long wick candle. Entry two through the long wick candle. Entry three through the very long wick candle and candle color change. Entry four through the two inverted long wick candles. Again, multiple long entries at the VWAP line. Then once you had a clean break through the VWAP line and lower low, this signals a possible trend change downwards is coming. You had a falling wedge pattern, followed by a break above and higher high, which is your trigger event and gives you a bullish bias and is the start of the fresh uptrend. This here is the actual start of the uptrend, so that's where you would put your VWAP anchor point. Price then forms a falling wedge continuation pattern, followed by a bounce off of the VWAP line, which presented a continuation long entry. Once price broke above the pattern and made a higher high, you would take a long continuation entry through the lower intraday timeframes, going in the opposite direction. Price being below the VWAP line signals an overall bearish market. The VWAP line also acts as a form of resistance when price is below it. If price breaks cleanly through, it signals a larger trend change is coming. If you want to use the exact charting platform we are using, it's linked in the description below. Let's now get into the strategies section. Strategy number one, VWAP combined with key levels. Like all indicators, you shouldn't use the VWAP on its own. You should always pair the VWAP with price action methods. You have a strong moving uptrend, so you want to trade with the trend. These reversal points give you a key zone. Price then pulls back and forms a long wick candle right at the key zone and the VWAP line, presenting a long trade opportunity. Trend line placed above connecting the highs, and once price broke above the trend line and made a higher high, this signals the pullback is over and that the next leg of the uptrend has begun, and is then when you would go to the lower intraday timeframes to find a long entry point. Let's show this again. You had three bounces off of this zone, which shows this level held strong, giving you a bullish, unconfirmed bias. Price then took off upwards and made higher highs and higher lows, which gives you a confirmed bullish bias, and you want to trade with the upwards momentum. This point here is the start of the moving uptrend, so that is where you would set your VWAP anchor point. These reversal points give you a key zone. Price then pulls back and forms multiple long wick candles right at the key zone and the VWAP line, presenting a high quality long trade opportunity. Trend line placed above, and once price broke above the trend line, this signals the pullback is over and that the next leg of the uptrend has begun, and is then when you would go to the lower intraday timeframes to find a long entry point. Now, you also had a second entry point here. This reversal point gives you a key zone. Some traders would have entered right at these long wick candles here. VWAP traders would have entered here through the very long wick candle forming right at the VWAP line and key support zone that is also a double bottom pattern at this point. Trend line placed above and once it broke with a higher high, look for a lower time frame continuation long entry point. Now going in the opposite direction. You have a strong moving downtrend with lower highs and lower lows, so you want to trade with the trend. This point here is the start of the moving downtrend, so that is where you would set your VWAP anchor point. This reversal point here gives you a key resistance zone. Price then pulls back and forms a very long wick candle right at the key resistance zone and VWAP line, presenting a high quality short trade opportunity. Once you had an intraday trend change confirmation, you would look for a short entry point. 
Let's now bring in the usage of multi timeframes to find that intraday trend change confirmation for earlier entry points. Before we continue, we want to hear from you. Tell us in the comments below right now what video topics we should cover next. As always, please hit the like button as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. You had an RSI divergence, followed by a break below the key zone and lower low, showing a trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend. This gives you a bearish bias, so you want to look for short entries to trade with the fresh downtrend and bearish momentum. The start of your downtrend is here, so that is where you would set your VWAP anchor point. Price then pulls back to the key zone and VWAP line and forms a long wick candle, showing a reaction to the area of confluence and presented a short trade opportunity. As always, a reaction does not equal an automatic short trade as price can stall at the area and then still continue on upwards. That's why you need a trend change confirmation to signal the pullback is over and that the next leg of the downtrend has begun. So one trend change confirmation is to wait for this lower low to form before taking a short entry. But now, if you want an earlier entry point up here, you need to use a lower intraday timeframe to look inside of this area for any form of price action that signals a trend change from an uptrend to a downtrend, and that validates your short trade setup is real and not a fake out. So let's pull up a lower intraday timeframe and put it beside this one. On the left is the main timeframe we just looked at, and on the right is the same asset, but using a lower intraday timeframe. Your trade setup area here is this same area here. Now on the lower intraday timeframe, you can see the actual swings of price of your moving pullback, which allows you to place a trend line like this. Once price broke below the trend line, this confirms the pullback is over and that the next leg of the downtrend has begun. And it's then when you would go to the even lower intraday timeframes to find an exact short entry point using our entry and exit strategy. Now, if you used only one timeframe, you entered here, which is all the way down here. But by using multi timeframes, you entered short all the way up here, which is earlier, meaning more profit and more gains. So moving on to strategy number two, imperfect VWAP and treating VWAP as a general area. You have a strong moving uptrend, so you want to trade with the trend. This here was the start of the move. So that's where you would set your VWAP anchor point. This reversal point gives you a key support zone. Now, notice how price pulls back and forms a double bottom, as well as multiple very long wick candles forming in the area of the VWAP line and not bouncing off of it picture perfectly. This is still a valid long trade setup as price is still reacting to the VWAP line area and the key support zone. Remember that the market is imperfect. So if you wait for picture perfect by the book trade setups only, you'll miss out on 95% of the best trades. Trend line placed above, and once you had a break above and higher high, you would take a long entry through the lower intraday timeframes. Let's show this again. You have a strong moving uptrend, so you want to trade with the trend. This here was the start of the move, so that's where you would set your VWAP anchor point. This reversal point gives you a key support zone. Price pulls back and forms a double bottom, as well as multiple very long with candles forming in the area of the VWAP line and not bouncing off of it picture perfectly. The key support zone also lines up perfectly, presenting a high quality long trade setup. Trend line placed above, and once you had a break above and higher high, you would take a long entry through the lower intraday timeframes. Now, if you want access to a ton of advanced content that won't ever be made available on our YouTube channel, go to wisetrade.com. Don't forget to tell us in the comments below what topics you want us to cover next. Make sure to hit the like button on this video as it allows for our team to continue to produce more free videos on YouTube. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.